How to Attract 99.9% .9 of Girls, The Wonder Spider Paradox Hello guys, welcome back to Alpha Show, a channel that will completely change your life from negative to positive and make you the person you always wanted to be. After this video, you will know about how to be attractive to 99% of girls by understanding the wolf spider paradox and how it plays out between men and women. The attraction process is a simple yet a small unassuming move that can ruin the whole party. The psychology of attraction between people is complex, but if you follow the wolf-spider paradox, you'll be ahead of many guys and have the girls chasing you instead. Today, I'll be discussing a law of attraction. It's a big secret that many of us don't know about, and I used to be guilty of that, to be honest. Ever since I understood and practiced the wolf-spider paradox, my dating life took a huge notch up, and I stopped trying so hard to impress girls while I caught their attention easily. We don't get taught about the amazing phenomenon that the wolf-spider paradox is in dealing with the opposite sex. In fact, we were raised based on the exact opposite of what the paradox is about. That's why we've all grown up with the mentality of trying too hard to impress attractive girls in elementary school, and even throughout our higher educations. It has somewhat become part of the macho credential to try too hard in impressing ladies. The wolf-spider paradox. In the course of attraction between a guy and a girl, many amazing things happen, and the wolf-spider paradox is part of them. Men especially can know about attracting women through studying the wolf-spider, a special breed of spiders. The much smaller male wolf-spider must enter the dark lair of the female wolf-spider very slowly and unassumingly. If he gets over-eager and moves too quickly, she'll literally eat him alive. Shocked? Several guys, when trying to court an attractive lady, try too hard to impress her and show her their value. And this is an interesting paradox. Try too much, talk too much, move too close and do anything too over-eagerly, and you'll be rejected as a potential mate. Back to our special spider. To successfully mate with a female, the male must show an incredible level of care while not trying to impress her too much. The male will beat his abdomen on the ground to a particular sound and hope that it's in line with the female's desires. If he beats too slowly, she'll think he is weak, and if he beats too fast and carelessly, she'll see him as food rather than a suitable lover. If the male wolf spider rushes into her compound, it'll most likely result in his quick and harrowing death of being eaten alive. It's prepackaged in the wolf spider's DNA that they should be able to demonstrate a high level ability without looking like they're intentionally showing a high level of competence. How can this help you as a man? Think of a man as a very expensive car, let's say the latest Tesla. He can prudently drive it around town without the cocky ego of a person who knows they're rich. That's all right, at least he's not in everybody's face to show them that he is better than them because he's wealthy. Picture the man now waving a large pack of money out of his car window while he makes noise with his car engine just to get our attention. As if that's not enough, he blatantly displays his wristwatch worth thousands of dollars. Do you think ladies nearby would be impressed by this show of affluence? They'll most likely not be impressed because our rich guy tries so hard to get the ladies' attention that it becomes distasteful. That's why, similarly, the wolf spider applies tact and thoughtfulness in his approach. There's a thin line between being seen as too weak, too confident, or just suitable, and this is the paradox. In every facet of life, if you try hard, you will most likely succeed. But that is an entirely different game when it comes to attracting women. Trying too hard isn't part of the equation, and the earlier you know this, the better for you in the dating pool. My advice, if you become over-eager and try so hard to impress her, then you're on the path of evaporating every morsel of attraction she has for you. Naturally, girls can tell when a guy is trying too hard to impress them, and in most cases, this is not very attractive. Yes, you want the girl you're trying to court to know that you're rich and handsome, and of course, you want her to know about your skills and the things you're really good at. The paradox is that the harder you try to get her attention, the more desperate you look. The result of this is bad, she'll become less interested in you. So, what should you do to correct this if you've been the over-eager wolf spider? Set your eyes on the goal, impressing her, and put in the efforts, but not conspicuously. Just do your bits. Don't be the dude that tries so hard to impress everyone that he becomes a douche. Until next time, when I bring you another insightful topic.
Thanks for watching.